So what you see is a little cloud, which is the personalized need of a person for correction to see in perfection multiple near objects in different directions of gaze. So the challenge is now, can we create a lens that exactly performs acuity in each and every part of that cloud? And to give you an explanation to that, and I think you have to have this explanation because you need to know how Varilux X really works, we add a little bit more technical flavor to this. So that is important now. Managing a volume of vision is a new feature to characterize a lens. And now that we are able to quantify that, we are enabled as well to develop tools to manipulate designs to exactly get this design you know, physically made. To illustrate what Varilux X you know, does in comparison to any other designs of ours or our competitors, this scheme, I think, is quite you know, illustrative. We still have a distant view, we still have an intermediate vision, and we have a near vision zone. But what matters for this spherical part, which is at arm's length, is a place we call the arm's length you know, uh, vision zone. It's basically between 60 and 85% of the addition to be added to the lens, which equals a distance between 40 and 70 centimeters from the wearer. To summarize, and again, this is what you see with a reader. Next is what you see with a bifocal. Big gap in the intermediate space. And finally, when you use a progressive lens, you see you know, a small corridor in the intermediate to near you know, uh, transition. This is the limitation of a regular design, and this is what you get if you use Varilux X. I think it's a very easy way to understand the power that we have built in Varilux X.